if you want to be in in the history books, what will be more impressive? Having the collegiate indoor record in the 800 and then also an NCA indoor 800 meter title where you won it in 203 or have the collegiate indoor record in the 800 and the collegiate indoor 400 meter record with the 400 meter title. Like I think that just you know, it's like she has nothing else to prove in the eight. I think she can still mm-hmm. win the four, so she'll still get her NCAA title. But now she has the opportunity to have two, actually three, collegiate records, four by four, 400, and 800 as a freshman with two NCAA titles. That That's like the perfect NCAA indoor resume you could ever have of all time. And then she can go into outdoor, collect those outdoor records and championships and then you could come out of the freshman year being like all right why do i need to go back i've done everything i got all the records i got all the titles that are important now it's time to make you know u.s teams well it's interesting that you say she's got nothing to prove in the 800 this year even before we get to the ncaa championships but that's how good a thing mo has been yeah. She's proven herself as the best 800 meter runner and she doesn't even need to run the championships. You're looking at it from a legacy perspective. I'm looking at it more as a short-term decision in terms of between now and outdoors. I think it makes sense if your goal is looking to NCAA outdoor championships and an Olympic trials, why do you need to run another 800? If she was on a, if this was a pro right now and she ran that 158.4 indoors, and we talk to them after the race, what would they say? Would they say they're going to run more indoor meets? No, they'd be like, hey, I've gotten what I wanted out of indoors. Now it's on to outdoors. With her situation, it's a little bit different. She competes for a team, but she's also really good at another event. Makes sense. Don't put another 800 meter race in her in her legs. Have her run a 400, get a little bit of speed work at the NCAA championships, which is a weird thing to say, but that's basically <laughs> what this is. This is, a, this is another, it's a step. It's a very important meet for her, but it's a step towards a larger goal, I think, of being as sharp as possible for outdoor season. That's that's what I would imagine this decision is about. And running 158.4 just makes that so easy to say, hey, let's just do it. Let's just do a 400 this time. Let's go for that. Let's go for that collegiate record and then on to outdoors. 